Hollywood star Meryl Streep calling out Donald Trump during her acceptance speech for her Lifetime Achievement Award at the Golden Globes. Let's take a listen. There was one performance this year that stunned me. It made its intended audience laugh and show their teeth. It was that moment when the person asking to sit in the most respected seat in our country imitated a disabled reporter, someone he outranked in privilege, power, and the capacity to fight back. Critics now argue whether that was Donald Trump's intent, revealing past videos showing Donald Trump using the same exact gesture on unrelated topics. When you see the president of the bank, I mentioned the word regulator. Uh, these guys come in, they run the banks. And they said to him, what do you think about ISIS? Oh, ISIS is very tough. They said, Senator Cruz, what do you think of waterboarding? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. You know, he didn't, he didn't want to talk about waterboarding because too controversial. And I'm saying to myself, they're chopping off heads. He doesn't want to talk about waterboarding. Let's take this to the political power panel, conservative radio host Gina Loudon and Democrat strategist Danielle McLaughlin. First to you, Gina. Um, do you think Donald Trump really did mock the reporter's disability? Let's stay on this for a second. Donald Trump does say in the video, quote, you got to see this guy. And the New York Times reporter says he was on a first name basis with Donald Trump. And he says he met him at least a dozen times. What are your thoughts? Well, you know, I'm a mother of a child with a disability, and I would not have supported President-elect Trump if I, if I had one doubt in my mind about where his heart is on this particular issue. Uh, what the media doesn't want to talk about is all the wonderful things that President-elect Trump has done for people with disabilities. And what they also don't want to talk about is that in that same speech he made, those gestures, again, two more times, that's the gesture President-elect Trump uses and has always used when he talks about somebody being flustered, Elizabeth, and it, it had nothing to do with this man's disability. And in fact, this man's disability uh, is called arthrogoprosis, I believe. And uh, it, it, it actually makes his, him it hard for him to move. And so when the media is talking about this, notice they never show this man, mm -hmm. but they act like President-elect Trump is mocking someone with cerebral palsy. That is not what this gentleman has. You know, Danielle, are Hollywood award ceremonies the right platform to make political statements? You know, the viewer out there could be saying, Saying, this is an imposition. This is an awards ceremony. We're not here to you know, be about politics. What do you think? Well, I think whether it's good, bad or ugly, it happens. You think back to Charleston, uh, Charlton Heston way, way back um, when he uh, brought a Native American onto stage to accept his Oscar. So we've seen this me as a place. Me, Brando. Excuse me, Marlon Brando. That's okay. Um, <laughs> you're absolutely right. So we've seen this as a and place Marlon where people there. talk about that. No. Yes. Go ahead. No, but it was a, it was a political in, yes. in its nature. You know, what Trump is asking for is the benefit of the doubt. And you're, when you talked in your lead, and you're, he, said, he did say, look at this poor guy. So if you're not willing to give Trump the benefit of the doubt because of the way he treated a gold star family, or you know, the way that he called out journalists like Jeff Zeleny or Katie Tour or other people you know, from a podium, sort of, I guess, where there is a power imbalance, you're not going to give him the benefit of the job, if, uh, the, off the benefit of the Trump, the benefit of the doubt. But if you do believe in him, uh, as Gina does, and you sort of you see into his heart and you see that this is not what he's doing, then you will. Yeah, Gina, I mean, I, the Trump backer out there is saying, we've got huge problems to deal with. Why are we going? Yeah. And we understand nobody wants to be thinking that they're supporting anybody who attacks the disabled. That's not what this is about. It's about the country's gigantic problems that Trump's trying to fix. And Trump did fire back saying, quote, Meryl Streep, one of the most overrated actresses in Hollywood, doesn't know me, but attacked me last night at the Golden Globes. She is a Hillary flunky, lost big for the hundredth time. I never mocked this reporter, this disabled reporter. I would never do that. It simply showed him groveling when he totally changed a 16-year-old story that he had written in order to make me look bad. Just more very dishonest media. All right, it is kind of amusing that Trump is ridicule, you know, making fun of Streep as overrated the night she won a Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, but here, do you think on the one hand that Trump undercuts his agenda when he's seen as personally attacking and insulting, or is the media being dishonest in his portrayal of Trump? Well, the media, we know, is very dishonest in the portrayal of Trump. In fact, when people commented on the original article about this gentleman's disability, uh, they, the media outlet removed the comments that were contrary uh, to, to their story and their narrative, and this is what the media does. Where is the outrage? I'm glad that President-elect Trump came out uh, about what happened to a young man with a disability last week uh, at the hands of the Black Lives Matter people. But, you know, we still don't have a comment from Obama or Hillary or any of the rest 
Joseph or Meryl Streep on this young man's plight. So they are only willing to go to the defense of those they 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 feel like they can use when it's convenient and it fits in their narrative. Yeah, and, Liz, and, and this Gina, is what makes us all stay so Stay on skeptical. this point. Where is the outrage from Hollywood that working moms out there have to work three jobs? or that they're struggling putting their kids to really overpriced colleges or struggling with health care costs that have skyrocketed through the roof. Have you seen Hollywood weighing in on that? I understand they do movies and their personal lives and what in their rhetoric. Have you heard that? No, but you know what, Liz, you are reflecting what the conscience of the of the of America thinks right now. They're thinking these Hollywood people commenting on how half of the people in America voted. I'll tell you what, if you support Trump, you should hope that people like Meryl Streep and those in Hollywood who think that America cares what they think keep on doing what they're doing because okay. they're not speaking to the psychology of where America is right Danielle, now. Danielle, I like your thoughts on this. Meryl Streep thinks that celebrities have been vilified. Let's take a listen. All of us in this room really belong to the most vilified segments in American society right now. Think about it. Hollywood, foreigners, and the press. Mark, really are they vilified? What do you think? What she was saying was, she's talking about Hollywood number one, right? But she's saying that what they do is they walk in the shoes of other people. She talked about the fact that Sarah Jessica Parker come, is from Ohio. She's from New Jersey. That Hollywood is a place where people are not from there. They're from other places. So people talk about this liberal bubble, she's but Hollywood Hollywood is a place... Are, she's saying they're vilified. Well, she, the press people is like, vilified. Well, the press is... I would say that Hollywood is being vilified um, for standing up and politicizing something that perhaps people think shouldn't be politicized. Right. But I think people forget that these people come from all over the world and all over the country. Gina, the final thoughts to you. I mean, it's not making America great again if you're insulting people, right? But, you know, I, I think there are bigger issues out there. What do you think, Gina? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you focusing on the economy. President-elect Trump is trying to focus on the economy. But more importantly, the American people right now want to focus on jobs and the economy. And so uh, dragging people down uh, into Hollywood groupthink is, is not effective for the groups that she purports to be trying to defend okay. either. All right. Thank you, Gina Loudon and Daniel McLaughlin. Coming up later on the show, Thanks, we've got Scott Baio.